Hello YouTube family, let's provide a solution given this nice exponential equation which is 8 raised to the power x plus 8 raised to the power x, this is got 400. So what is the value of x solution? Now from here you can see that 8 raised to the power x plus 8 raised to the power x is common, so we can factor out 8 raised to the power x, okay, so that we're going to have 1 plus 1, this is equal to 400. Okay, now from here, we have 8 raised to the power x multiplied by, this is 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2, this is equal to 400. Okay, so we divide both signs by 2, so that from here, we have 8 raised to the power x, this is equal to 200. Okay, now to solve for the value of x, we introduce the natural logarithm as follows. We have log 8 raised to the power x, this is equal to log 200, okay? Now from here, 8 can be expressed as 2 raised to the power 3, and 200 can be expressed as 25 multiplied by 8, okay? Now from, from here again, you find that 25 can be expressed as 5 squared multiplied by 8, which is 2 raised to the power 3, okay? So let's substitute this. So we are going to have rog 2 raised to the power 3 x, that is 3 times x to 3 x. This is equal to rog um, 25 multiplied by 8, okay? Now again, we can write this as rog 2 raised to the power 3 x. This is equal to rog now, 25 can be expressed as 5 squared multiplied by 8, which is 2 raised to the power 3. Okay? Now, again, from here, you find that rog 2 raised to the power 3x, this is in the form of rog m raised to the power n, which you can express as n rog m. Okay? So, let's apply this property so that you're going to have... 3x rog 2, this is equal to rog, this is 5 squared multiplied by 2 raised to power 3. Now again from here, you find that rog 5 squared multiplied by 2 raised to power 3, this is in the form of rog a multiplied by b, okay, which you can write as rog a plus rog b, okay? We have that 3x rog 2 is equal to rog 5 squared multiplied by 2 raised to the power 3. Now, rog 5 raised to the power 2 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 3, this is in the form of rog a multiplied by b, which you can express as rog a plus rog b, okay? So let's apply this property. Now from here, we'll have 3x rog 2. This can be expressed as rog 5 raised to power 2 plus rog 2 raised to power 3. Now from there, we have 3x rog 2. This is equal to, now applying the power rule property, Applying the power rule property, as we have mentioned earlier, that states that if you have rog m raised to the power n, this can essentially be expressed as n rog m, okay? So let's apply this property on the right-hand side so that we're going to have 2 rog 5 plus 3 rog 2, okay? Now from here, we divide both signs by rog 2 by rog 2 and also yam by rog 2. Okay, let's simplify this so that we're going to have 3x. This is equal to, now this is 2 rog 5 divided by rog 2 plus this is 3. Okay, now from here again, we find that uh, rog 5 divided by rog 2, this is in the form of rog A divided by rog B, 
which we can express as log a to base b okay so let's apply this property we're going to have 3x this is equal to 2 log 5 to base 2 plus 3 okay so we divide both sides by 3 divide both sides by 3 so that the value of x in this case x is also is equal to 2 log 5 to base 2 plus 3 divided by 3 so this is the value of x okay so let's verify if this value of x satisfies the equation so let's verify that this value of x which is 2 log 5 to base 2 plus 3 divided by 3 satisfies the equation now as you might recall as, as you might recall we end that 8 raised to power x plus 8 raised to power x this is equal to 400 okay now from here you find that 8, 8 raised to power x is common and then 8 raised to power x so that we're going to have 1 plus 1 this is equal to 400 okay so this will be 8 raised to power x multiplying by this is 1 plus 1 which is 2 this is equal to 400 okay so we divide both sides by 2 we divide both sides by 2 so here we have 8 raised to power x which is equal to 200 okay so now from here this 8 can be expressed as 2 raised to power 3 okay so you're going to have 2 raised to power 3 multiplying by x this is supposed to give us 200 okay so let's substitute the value of x let's substitute the value of x so now you have 2 raised to power 3 uh, we substitute the value of x which is 2 log 5 to base 2 okay plus 3 divided by 3 okay so this is supposed to give us 200 a value of 200 all right now from here we find that we simplify this 3 okay this 3 simplifies then we'll have 2 raised to power 2 log 5 to base 2 plus 3 this is supposed to give us 200 okay now let's proceed now we have 2 raised to power 2 log 5 to base 2 plus 3 this is equal to 200 okay now as you can see this 2 log 5 to base 2 can be expressed as 2 raised to power log 5 squared to base 2 plus 3 this is supposed to give us a value of 200 okay now as you can see 2 raised to the power of 5 squared to base 2 plus 3. This is in the form of a raised to the power n plus m, which we can express as a raised to the power n multiplied by a raised to the power m. Okay. Now from here, we have that 2 raised to the power of 5 raised to the power 2 to base 2 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 200. All right. Now from here, 2 raised to the power of 5 squared to base 2. This is in the form of m raised to the power of a to base m. This essentially is equal to a. Okay. So let's apply this property. Let's apply this property. Now we have 2 raised to the power of 5 raised to the power 2 to base 2 which is equal to 5 raised to the power 2 okay so from here let's substitute 5 raised to the power 5 squared which is equal to 25 okay so let's substitute 25 we're going to have 25 multiplying by 2 raised to the power 3 2 raised to the power 3 this is the same as 8 okay so this is 25 multiplying by 8 which is equal to 200 okay now 25 times 8 this is the same as 200 which is equal to 200 okay and this verifies that the value of x okay Th this verifies that the value of x which is 2 log 5 to base 2 plus 3 divided by 3 satisfies the equation 
So thank you for watching, follow the steps and kindly subscribe.